All right, we have four stacks of mail here. Right. Next. This first stack is uh, junk mail. We can throw this pile right out. Although I would like to know how your name got on a mailing list for full-figured women. I don't know. I swear. Next comes your personal mail. Now, this first letter is from a California law firm. Law firm? Next. Aren't you going to open? No. Then may I open? Sure, but first tell me what's in this pot. Ah. These are bills that should be paid at once. Your water, your heat, uh, your light, phone, car payment. Car payment? Yeah. Can I see them? <laughs> I don't own a car. <laughs> What's in the stack here? These are letters from people who would like to know why the bills in this pile have not been paid yet. <laughs> Gotta go. Waste your time trying to straighten that guy out. <laughs> I know. Jerry Lee Lewis, rocking my life away, and that's what I'm doing. I'm the doctor, and this is KRP, where it's 9.36 in Cincinnati. I'm just sitting up here reading all my fan mail. I see that some of you were nice enough to write twice. I... You know, I'm touched. I always have been. Music till 10, right after this. Land, the only thing worth fighting for, the only thing worth dying for, because it's the only thing that lasts. Here at Gone with the Wind Estates, we understand that. It's condominium living, plantation style. <laughs> oh, what the hell, you know, I don't need a phone. I mean, Alexander Graham Bell never had one. You know, I, I just invented them, he said. I don't use them. <laughs> Look. Well, this is... A mistake. It's a cruel joke. No joke, my friend. That's 24,000 smackaronis. <laughs> I could have 100 phones. Uh-huh. <laughs> you can call long distance and I have to wait till after six. <laughs> I, can, I can go through the operator. I don't have to dial myself. That's right. Venus, Venus, tell me, what do I do? You're my financial advisor. Come on. First, take your hands away from my shirt ever so gently. <laughs> right. Then take a deep breath. Right. Now sit down. Right. Baby, if you've ever wondered, wondered whatever became of me, I'm living on the air in Cincinnati. Cincinnati WKR. Cincinnati. It's an outrage, Jennifer. I know it is. The Cincinnati Reds had the best record in baseball, the very best. I know they did. Not the Dodgers, not the Astros, but the Reds. We've got to stop talking about that someday. <laughs> what else is there to talk about? Johnny Fever has come into a great deal of money. That soft drink machine break again. <laughs> Not quite. When Johnny was fired from that radio station in Los Angeles, he still had a year left to go on his contract. Huh. Yesterday, he received word that the station has settled out of court. Apparently saying booger on the air is not grounds for firing someone. How much did he get? 24000 Good golly. Fever with money? <laughs> Uh, could I be of some assistance? No, I'm just hanging out, just checking out things. <laughs> I, I, I see, yeah. Uh, Nadine. Honey, is that you? <laughs> oh, AC. Uh, Jennifer, uh, permit me to introduce Nadine Piawati. So help me, that is her name. <laughs> and uh, this, uh, this is Nadine's personal physician, Roberta. <laughs> Doc, meet the folks. <laughs> what, like you mean your parents? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm very 
sorry that this is happening. You know, it's uh, just uh, kind of a little tour of the station, uh, like when the Cub Scouts came by, remember? Uh, Nadine, Roberta, um, <clears throat> well, why don't we go in the lobby, okay? Uh, uh, ladies, I'll join you shortly. Into one big lady. <laughs> Really, my behavior is just inexcusable, AC, and uh, uh, there's only so much of this stuff that you have to take, you know? So I think it's appropriate that I just uh, dock myself, uh, say, $100, okay? What? Not enough. Fine, fine. Make it $200, okay? Now we're square. I know you are. Hey, no, here, Fever, you keep your money. I understand you have good reason to celebrate. Are you kidding? I certainly do. Listen, you keep it, all right? I have just concluded a lengthy legal action to the tune of $56,000. From which my lawyer has taken his fair share of 51%. All lawyers must be shot soon. <laughs> William Shakespeare. <laughs> Does leave me, though, $24,000. Jennifer, $24,000. Huh? Uh, Nadine, the doctor, and I are finalizing our marriage plans. But if you were willing to just uh, merely wink in my direction, I guarantee you I would consider canceling the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, oh, whoa, that was good. This is incredible. I didn't think it could be like that. Was it good for you? Would you care for a cigarette? I'm talking too fast. Talking entirely too fast here. Many, many words a minute, you know, and yet I'm dizzy. I'm about to pass out. I tell you, money is murder, AC. They say it'll kill you, but they don't say when. You know, I haven't been to sleep. Not since 10 a.m. yesterday morning. No sleep at all. I, I'm just dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. And that's not really all there is to it. I promise me you'll wait for me. My, my. Yes, well, well put, yeah. <laughs> a thousand bucks? How could you spend a thousand bucks in one day? Well, Nadine needed braces and Roberta, the doctor, uh, she wanted to have a tattoo removed. I've seen it. I don't blame her. Uh, look, Bailey, why don't you just get me a glass of water and throw it in my face, okay? Do you know how much a thousand bucks is? Well, who cares, man? It's just money. You know, let me tell you all something, and I don't want you to forget this. Money and happiness and life are not the same thing. For example, Othello, uh, money is not life. And, and life is not... It's... Uh, Happiness. <laughs> I was kidding. Oh, I'm sorry. Damn. I was just doing what Nadine and the doctor would, following orders. Now, John, you got twenty-four thousand dollars. Twenty-three thousand dollars. Twenty-two and some change. You know, you can get a tailor through room service. <laughs> Okay, John, you had a little fun. Now it's time for some hard thinking, man. No, no, no. Now, when you're rich, you don't have to think. That's why it's so much fun to be rich. <laughs> Invest your money, Fever. Don't be an idiot. That's right, man. Well, let me show you just a few of the things that I have already purchased. Johnny. <laughs> for example, a genuine simulated diamond Masonic ring. Huh? Huh? May I see that? Sure. I was gonna get you a sport jacket as a gift, but, you know, they just don't make that stuff anymore. Anti-pollution laws. No, 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 you, you can get them at a golf pro shop over in Kentucky. That's the only place you can get them. Well, moving on. Uh, uh -huh. A harmonica, a long one, just like the harmonicats played. So don't tell me, okay? And soap that you can see through. Johnny, this is piddling away your money, man. And you ought to invest the rest before it's all gone. You know, John, beans are very good. What? Invest your money in any bean future. Limas, for instance. That's crazy. Crazy like a fox. Johnny, all this talk you've been hearing about a protein shortage is really a myth. Now, I hate to say this, being as closely associated as I am with pigs, but America is going to a carbohydrate diet. Yes, proteins are out, beans and your green vegetables are in. 
Les, you're on in two minutes. Oh, good golly. John, why don't you just open a savings account? No, not me. Then real estate. What about Herb's condominium client? Going with the wind estates? <laughs> don't laugh, Venus. It's nice out there. Look, John, real estate has never failed, man. I mean, the, the market's down right now. We can get a good bargain. Come on, let's get a paper. Well, why don't we just publish one? <laughs> we better get this money invested fast. This is your future. Yeah. Go to Gone with the Wind. Tell them Herb sent you. Tell them you heard about it right here on KRB Radio in Cincinnati. Well, I've never owned land before, Herb. Look, you buy a condo, you don't get land. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm not on for another hour. <laughs> why him? I mean, wh why, can't, why can't why can't I just get 24 grand like like that out of the blue? Because you always have bad luck, and you always will have. <laughs> what do you? Well, I don't understand this. I mean, I don't understand this at all. Well, when the little hand reaches Stop way... It. It's here because I bought it at an estate sale and there was no place else to store it. Well, why a grandfather clock? You asked me to redecorate the lobby, to give it stature and prestige. Well, yeah, but it should look like the lobby of a radio station, not the Swiss embassy. Uh, I donated it. I am merely trying to help. If you would like to take over for me, please do. Perhaps you could put bumper stickers everywhere. That is my prize collection. Are you saying that I don't have any taste? No. But you're saying that I don't. Uh, no, uh, look, I, I, look, I'm sorry. You can decorate this lobby any way you want to. You're sure? I'm sure. Hey. Hi, Venus, what's new? <laughs> Johnny just got a place, a condo. Deal just closed. Where? Gone with the Winter States. You're kidding. <laughs> nice clock, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Mr. Carlson, he would just bought a condo. I thought I'd round everybody up and go look at it. Venus, I'm a business executive. I don't just go running off with the gang every time one of my employees buys something new. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, I want to see it. Mr. Carlson, will you water the plants and answer the phone? Sure. What do you think? This is nice, boy. This is good. How much? Oh, Les, that's too personal a question to ask. How much? Uh, talk to Venus. He's my budget director. We put $15,000 down. The rest I'm holding back for taxes and incidentals. <laughs> nice carpet. <laughs> Three pie? Do these lead upstairs? Depends on which way you're going. Uh, John, I really, uh, I really like it. So do I. Thanks. Jennifer? Yes, it's very nice. And such a fashionable address. Pity Pat Lane. Yeah. <laughs> it's either that or Prissy Parkway. Herb, did you pick the names for this place? I wish. This is neat. John, you've got some yard here. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not a yard. It's called a community green belt. <laughs> they call it, frankly, my dear, park. <laughs> Spelled D-E-E-R. Oh, that's cute. Hell, it's adorable. Call it what you want, it's a good investment. Uh, I believe Les found the trash smasher. <laughs> oh, I like that trash smasher very much. Herb, give me some trash to put in there. I just plum forgot trash, Les. Give him your belt. <laughs> 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 
John, this is a wonderful investment. I'm very impressed. I'd like to see the pool area in the uh, sauna, if I might. Uh, down the back stairs to your left. <laughs> Come along, everyone. Very nice. Very nice indeed. You know, John, I was thinking of moving back into my apartment. Yeah. There's so much to take care of in a house. Really? I said, come on. He's such a cute little Nazi. <laughs> uh, Venus, hang for a second. Uh, we'll catch up with you. Yeah, we'll all be downstairs in the hot tub. Oh, save us a place. Yeah. Well, my friend, yeah. I hate this place. <laughs> I mean, I know you've been doing your best for me all along, man, but Venus, I'm telling you, some people were born not to have money. This <coughs> is not me. I'm just not your basic condomaniac. <laughs> well, John, you can't make payments here and rent somewhere else. Well, I'm not going to live here. Now, I went to talk to Wainwright over the sales office, and I said, I want it out. Well, what did he say? He said, no. Well, you just have to live here for a while. Can't, man. I want to go home. <laughs> Come on, man. Make him take it back. I mean, talk to Wainwright. You met him. Okay, I'll try. Got you in this. I'll try to get you out of this. Well, call the guy and see if he'll come over here tomorrow. I want the meeting on our own turf. Ah, Mr. Wainwright, come in. Come in. Thank you, Mr. Caravella. Pleasure seeing you again. Oh, pleasure's all mine. <clears throat> I've taken the liberty of inviting our Miss Archer along. She's one of the company's top people. Oh, well, nice to have you here, Miss Archer. Uh, may I introduce Mr. Trapp, <clears throat> a top person in his own right. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we all sit down? Mr. Caravella, I'm sorry if I didn't make myself clear this afternoon. You did, Mr. Wainwright. I just thought there might be room for further discussion. You see, I feel a little guilty about this. I advised Mr. Caravella to buy here, and now I'm afraid he's a little unhappy. There's a problem? Well, yes. You see, Mr. Caravella's lifestyle is such that he feels somewhat out of sorts here at Gone with the Winter States. I think I'd be happier at uh, on the waterfront estates. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to come to love it here. Our arrangement has been consummated, Mr. Caravella. See, I feel like I've been consummated, Mrs. Archer. <laughs> what we have here is just a little misunderstanding, but I'm sure we can work it out. As a matter of fact, uh, I think Mr. Fever here might make a cash penalty of some sort. Who's Fever? Uh, Ms. Caravella, I mean. <laughs> yes, uh, he'll pay a cash penalty of, let's say, $1,000. $1,000? I know it's a sacrifice, but one we're willing to make. But we are not. This unit is yours, Mr. Caravella. Yours to keep. All right. Let's not beat around the bush here. I know how these things work. The doctor gives you a thousand five, we walk, everybody's happy. If you'd like to sell this property yourself, fine. That's your business. Then you know what? We'll just have to raffle this place off. You ever heard of that? <laughs> yeah. Well, we have heard of that procedure. That's why the agreement the doctor signed specifically prohibits that type of resale. It does? It does. We have a certain image to maintain. Next point, Venus. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of image, he, this man, will have big parties and play loud music all night, night after night after night. <laughs> then we will have him, this man, arrested night after night after night. We will continue to have him arrested until he learns to behave himself like a good Gone with the winder. That's what we call the residents here. Gone with the winders. Good God. Well, I just... I just think this is an outrage. 
I mean, there's got to be something we can do here. I mean, let's see, uh, Johnny, can you think of anything? <laughs> no. Uh, but I think it's time we started telling the truth, Venus. It is? Yes, it is. Now, Lord knows I do want to be a good gone with a winder. Uh, <laughs> it's Venus here that's really unhappy. And that is his first name, Venus. Just like the goddess of love and beauty. <laughs> Cross my heart, Bean. Once we move in here together, you're going to come to love her. <laughs> Just think of all the things we can do with textures. Hmm? <laughs> Remember those darling little wall hangings we saw in that shop off Decker Street? They were to die, Bean, just to die. <laughs> what do you say? What do you, just loosen up, hmm? How about it? Uh, uh <laughs> It's that old South thing that's got him upset. You know, the slavery bugaboo. And that is just <laughs> so silly. <laughs> we'll blend right in here. We'll, we'll, we'll just go to all the parties. We'll get to know our neighbors. We'll enjoy the pool and the sauna. We will practically live in the sauna. <laughs> Think about it, Veen. We can take long strolls through, frankly, my dear, park. <laughs> we can have Mr. Wainwright and Ms. Archer over for some of your scampi. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh -huh. <laughs> So how about it, you two? What do you say? Let's just forget all this terrible business and just live and create and just be. <laughs> He'll be all right. I'll talk to him. WKRP in Cincinnati. We'll be back after this. <laughs> no kidding. And then he starts singing real softly. And by your touch, I found true love. <laughs> and then I swear he reached over, gave me a peck on the cheek. <laughs> Yuck. You didn't tell them you're from KRP, did you? They're clients of mine, you know. No. But I did tell them that I knew you very well. <laughs> Uh, did you have to give him the thousand dollars? Nah. We went over to the office and tore up the contract. But then Fever was completely out of control. He was Liza Minnelli this and Liza Minnelli that. <laughs> well, there you are, you dusky devil. Stop it. <laughs> it's over. Go buy yourself a thousand harmonicas. I can't do it. I blew the whole bundle. Good. You what? I uh, put it all in a little filly. Oh, no. You are an idiot, Fever, an absolute idiot. I gave it all to my daughter, Les. Oh, I'm an idiot then. <laughs> no, no, not really. Actually, Les, you're a, an intelligent, outspoken, and very attractive person. I like you a lot. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. 